You see, the trick is buy once, continue refill. Give the impression that you've always got Ace up when really you buy once. Good bit of cheap stuff in there. Ah, tricks of the trade. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. We're going to be making protein oats today. Yay! I feel like protein oats is the most butchered one. Most, butch most also frequently asked about a question when I program oats and whey for my clients is like, how do you make it? So I do, this is my method anyway, obviously everyone's got their own method. I do a one to two ratio of oats to water and then I do a one one ratio of grams to water for whatever whey protein I'm putting in. So as an example, Today I'm having 75 grams of oats. So I'm then putting 150 ml of water in. And because I'm having 30 grams of whey, I added in an additional 30 ml of water. I know that sounds quite confusing, but it works. So that's 75 grams of oats. So I'll put in 150 ml of water and then add in an extra 30, so it's 180 in total. And then we put it in the microwave. Good salt, Nigella Lawson. Her and Carol Vorderman. How long, how long in the microwave, Tom? A minute. A minute in the microwave, you've got this sort of like consistency here. And then, just add your 30 grams of whey protein in that we're having today. Got a bit of conditioning work at Feel Good this morning. And then we've got some Hyrox specific work from Jade after. For reference, this is the sort of consistency that I quite happen to like. And then, once that is done, my friends, frozen berries. This is the Tesco berry and blackcurrant mix. Carefully picked, a mix of strawberries, blackcurrants, Blueberries, blueberries and raspberries. So I have like 80 grams of frozen berries. I have two squares of dark chocolate and then I finish with some honey. And then that is my pre-workout meal for this, for this, for today's training. Also I have this with uh, coffee on a Sunday morning, it's lovely. The mistake was made, love slipped from my lips, down my chin. Okay, so some morning work done at Feel Good. 41 minutes today, 485 calories, so we'll consider that a warm up. Today we've got some pushing focus and some pulling focus work. So we have 25 meter sled. This is about 10, so we'll do up, down, halfway to mimic 25. And we're doing at 80% of the high rocks weight. So we've got 100 key on here. We'll be doing 25 meter sled push, rest for 90, 25 sled, 60 rest, 25 sled 30, sled 10, and then sled. And that'll be that work done. And then we'll go into a similar structure with a uh, pyramid rest scheme for the pull work as well. Let me see if you do 100. Go on. There we go, very good. I'll call you for backup on the higher rocks if I need you. Push down, it really fucking catches up to you there. But Dan jumping in. So now we'll do pull, 80% of the fireworks. Black parties and penny candy, us was nice and warm. I just want to take some pictures. <laughs> Morning guys, look what is out. Du, 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 
Never get bored of it every single year. Although I might switch it up a little bit this year. I might get some meat from like a decent place. I'm not saying it's not decent, but I might just get a few like picky bits from here and then actually actually cook as opposed to just taking it out. So we've got the two ovens now, look. So I want to go in. Don't know who's coming around. Might just be my mum. Me and my mum and my dad, maybe. I don't know. What are we doing? Sunday, meant to be my rest day today. I should be resting, but I feel okay. And I like my Sundays either going for a run or a cycle. So I'm going to go for a very gentle, and when I say gentle, I mean very gentle, and try and keep heart rate in zone two completely. It's very hard to, uh, it's very hard to do it sometimes. You sort of, you feel good, you get ahead of yourself, you check 3K and you're like, oh, I'm on a good split, push for fire, then it's like, right, no, I actually need to calm down because we need to prioritise this high rocks training at the moment. So, I'm gonna grab a quick coffee, drive to Greenwich. I love Greenwich, just running around Greenwich is lovely. And just go for like a nice hour on the feet. Hey, relax. Oh, I can't stop doing these impressions, it's terrible. Hey, thanks, Dad. Yeah, the thing is, you don't, I've actually perfected both. I've perfected Evans and actual Jeff's. Jeff's is very more uh, in his actual interviews. What can I say? Man of many talents. This is a really nice route around Greenwich. You start in this car park, Park Row Car Park, Royal Borough of Greenwich. You go down, Carty Sark round, Go all along until you get to the O2, loop round the O2, come back. I think you go past Studio 338. And it's just about 10k, but I don't think I'm going to do 10k today. I just want to take, take it really easy. Nice and gentle. Let me show you how you get on. Updates on this free train vest, really good. Jay said about getting the, uh, the V2, I think it is which is the uh, non-elasticated zip one. Let's have a look. Yeah, mate, it's a camera. You've never seen one before. <laughs> but it's really good. Key holder. These keys are a nightmare. Did a 5K on Friday with Josh. Pace was good. We thought it was going to be on for like a PB and then the last couple of K, I was, I was absolutely gone. His paces are quick. Josh Kennedy, that is not Josh Bridgman. Little key holder in here, look. Ugh. And then phone in there. Nice, gentle 60 minutes on the feet today. The primary objective for me with those sort of runs is heart rate control, and it should be for you as well. Distance shouldn't even come into the equation. Pace, if you're getting people bomb past you don't worry about it at all you want to be in a position whereby you can control your heart rate in those sort of distances mine's getting a lot better usually my average heart rate for those sort of runs even at a snail's pace is like 165 and it's slowly coming down so the primary objective for me is to try and stay in that zone two which max for me is about 149 so 152 is coming it's coming back down but there's a lot of people getting interested in running now and i think the best thing for you to do is just one session per week Start with like a 40, 45 minute zone to run, build that time up and just make sure that you are staying in that heart rate zone. And then you can start worrying about pace and speed and start to incorporate some sprint sessions in the beginning of the week as an example. But like I said, I'm, I'm not really concerned about distance for me. But having said that, what is nice to see is that my distance with those sort of runs is getting more. That's 8.1K today in an hour. It's nice to see my distance is going up in that hour with my heart rate coming down. So it's, it's good to see that the capacity is being built, which is good. Time is now 10.30. I didn't have any breakfast this morning, I had a single espresso, so just gonna have a big old breakfast. Another successful week of training wrapped up. For those that are wondering, I get a few questions on Instagram when I post a workout. I say, what split are you follow at the moment? You're being coached. Well, I'm under the watchful eye of Jade Skillen, who's programming my 16 weeks up until my first high rocks at the end of January. She's, uh, she usually offers a 12 week, but I come to her early and also it's my first high rock, so she said, let's just do a 16 week prep. So that's what we are doing at the moment. 
The way in which the split works, I can't really give you much of an insight because the sessions vary on a session by session basis. What I do know is, it seems anyway, Thursday and Sunday is the rest day. Sunday I tend to turn into a bit of an active recovery, as you know, out on the bike or doing a very gentle run. But Thursday my out and out rest day and I'm taking full advantage of that. I'm going back to Alpha Health. Alpha Health are uh, fantastic, absolutely phenomenal. They kept me in shape, the shoulder, the chest, my back during prep and my knees as well. I'm going back to see them for my posterior shin splints because they're doing my head in. I know I can push myself a lot harder, but they're holding me back a little. But like I said, if you're in the Bexley, Sick Up, Bromley area and you need a physio, go and uh, chat to the guys at Alpha Health. They're amazing. This is definitely the hardest training block that I've been in. Like, in all my 29 years now of training, this is the most intense. Like, every session I'm on my knees, panting, covered in sweat, and I love it. I'm completely married myself, and I'm in the process, and I, I couldn't be happier. As you know, the, the dopamine hit you get from that lung-busting post-workout session is, you can't put it into words, you have to experience it yourself. Which brings me to this point, and it got my back up a little bit, and I don't know why. Probably because I did bodybuilding for eight years, and I think we should you know, open the floor up to you guys, because I want to hear your opinions, and we're not, we're not encouraging and being proactive about debate enough, but I'll tell you why I got my back up. This person said on the previous video, the best training shoes, if you've not seen it, is the rad review up here. Would highly recommend a marathon prep series. Bodybuilding isn't challenging in any way, and as you know, once you start actually training properly, i.e. running long distances, and uh, lifting weights concurrently, marathon prep would be immense. That got my back up for a split second. I can understand where he's coming from. And the reason why I got my back up, because I don't want to ever personally, or I don't want anyone to ever think or give the impression that bodybuilding isn't challenging. Bodybuilding in the context of a contest prep and also off season, both are equally as challenging as each other. We can't detract from, from that. You know, progressively overloading the gym, high intense training sessions in a calorie deficit whilst doing cardio is tough. Like never, don't get that wrong. It is, I think you're wrong to say bodybuilding isn't challenging. Comparing it to this particular style of training, and I actually might be a bit hypocritical because I watched Fergus's Double Iron and I watched that and you know what I said? Bodybuilders ain't got a clue. I don't know who I said it to, but I remember saying, bodybuilders ain't got a clue, have they? Fergus just hallucinating, thinking he's seen Dastardly and Muttley on a 8K run, 360K cycle and a two marathons. I said, bodybuilders ain't got a clue. When they're creating this like grind in the trenches type content, when I, when I see that now, I think, what are you doing? But looking back on it, it was tough. And that last prep that I did, I gave everything. Like everything that Callum asked me to do, I did. When he gave me that ultimatum between taking DMP, which is the drug that kills Ziz, or going down the hard route of doing an hour and a half on the Stairmaster, I said, I'll go down the hard route. And I, I left everything. Like, I, I honestly, was very, that's the first time I've managed to look back at a prep and gone tick. Let's close that book, that chapter of my life's done. I gave it all. I never even truly got into like proper condition. Glutes in, I was never really like a good bodybuilder. I can admit that, it doesn't hurt my ego or anything at all. I'm quite happy to admit that. But like I said, I really don't want people to think that bodybuilding isn't challenging. And me transitioning to this style of training, I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm like throwing shade or throwing dirt on bodybuilding, I'm not. When I talk about bodybuilding in, in a slightly negative way, I'm talking about my psychological issues with it and, and what it did to me. Because I know many bodybuilders that are happy, that's them and, and they love it and they eat, sleep and breathe it and that's absolutely fine. When I give it a bit of a, a knock, it's my own personal experience. That is all it is. But definitely never take away from bodybuilding because it is, it is hard. And I always say, if you're serious about your physique, everyone should always do at least one prep. Always. Because the discipline that is instilled on a bodybuilding prep allows you in this new realm of training to push. And just, just, just the general discipline of bodybuilding, that routine allows me to wake up with ease now, 5 a.m. stretch, meditate, boom, work, cold shower, but do you know what I mean? So I, I will always hold bodybuilding close to my heart with what it gave to me as an individual in terms of growth and development. And uh, I don't want anyone to ever think that bodybuilding isn't isn't hard. I don't, want anyone, I don't want anyone to ever think that bodybuilding isn't easy. But, oh my God, my battery's flashing. I'm gonna leave it there. The floor is yours, let's debate. Do you think bodybuilding is challenging? I like a discussion. 
Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, you know. Much love.